Hey, it's Brian from Super Easy Toots, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover the Set Precision Manipulator. And it's similar to the uh, Set Width Manipulator that we learned in previous tutorial, um, in that we must pound include the IO Manip file. We do that uh, again up here at the top. Let's do a pound include, and that basically gives us access to this uh, IO Manip file, and then the using namespace uh, allows us to use the standard declarations inside that file. Um, also, uh, just refresh your memory, the default value when we see out a float or a double is six digits. And in order to um, enact, so to speak, the set precision operator, uh, manipulator, I'm sorry, um, we just type out the word set precision and then uh, inside parentheses we put uh, a numeric value and that number must be an integer value. So what I've done in this program is I've created a float um, named my GPA and given it uh, it's pretty close to accurate value of what my current GPA is 1.786 blah 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 and then I've uh, got our honor student here Sarah she's got a bright future with that 3.82 GPA and when I see out my GPA that uh, that float variable um, just by default it's gonna print six digits so we're gonna get this value here so I've commented out this bottom portion we get the see out my GPA when I run this we see that indeed we do get the six digits count here one two three four five six now we can manipulate that using the set precision manipulator and that's basically what I've done here I just uh, again type set precision and in the parentheses put three with my GPA to follow uh, the variable my GPA so what that is going to do is that is going to print out 1.79 and basically it's going to round this up because this is a six so this eight is going to get rounded up to a nine and we have one two three digits as we had in our set precision in the parentheses there so now if I run this program we see that indeed we have three digits in there the 1.79 and the uh, rounding was completed on there as well so now the thing about that is is once we set the set precision it carries on throughout until we change it so what I've done in the next line is I've see outed the float variable Sarah GPA and it even though I don't have a set precision operator in here it's going to use this previous one that we defined here so it's gonna print out 3.82 from her GPA so I'm gonna go ahead and run this with this we have the Sarah GPA with the set precision in the previous line not in this line and you're gonna see that we get a three digit output and there we have it the 3.82 so now to change that it's very easy all we do is we re redeclare that set precision um, so now we are gonna see out and we're gonna do another set precision and in parentheses we're gonna put five as the number of digits to be printed out and then Sarah and what we're gonna get is a 3.8242 which obviously is five digits because we've changed the set precision to five so if I run this now our new output will indeed be five digits and we'll see the 3.8242 so that's pretty much it as far as the um, as far as the set precision manipulator main thing to remember is the rounding aspect of it and to definitely pound include the IO manip